How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscape YouTube channel. Today's video we're doing a riding shotgun. And so we are at one of our condos today and we will be doing a ton of hedge trimming. Uh, I was planning on getting some mowing and trimming videos because we did everything and the grass looks really good because we literally just fertilized last week. So the property looks really good. But sadly this morning I had to fire an employee just because I've been having constant problems with them. I did have two employees but now I'm down to one. So kind of sucks but whatever so we were originally planning on getting this whole entire uh, island done right here behind me uh, all the trimming done but now we're only going to probably be able to get about half of it done which really sucks uh, so that is what we will be doing today and um, so a lot of these shrubs are about roughly six seven feet some of them a little bit taller so these square ones right here take a little bit of time mostly just because the tops of them are, are so high uh, some of the shrubs that are some of the equipment I'm using today I'm using the Echo HC2420 uh, hedge trimmer. Has been my go-to hedge trimmer for the past two years. Hasn't let me down yet, so so far that's been a great trimmer. And then of course I'm using the steel combi system art articulating head, and that's been a great trimmer for the most part. It, it's not as good, honestly, so far it's not as good as the Echo PAS articulating head, mostly because once you get a little bit in the dirt or if you're doing kind of ground level stuff, it tends to run rough. I don't know, for some reason the cut just isn't as good as the Echo. Uh, but sadly, even though I have the Echo PES with the articulating head out, um, of course the Echo equipment's not running. So what else is new? So anyways, so we're using the still and then the Echo head trimmer. So those are the two things we're doing. So I'm gonna throw the camera on a tripod, get some head trimming done and we'll get going. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs>
All right guys, so we gotten done with a good majority of the head trimming. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the mower, suck up all the little clippings. I went and blew out all the bed, it's the, at least the best I could. Hold on, let me change my, Ooh, where'd it go? Wrong way, there it is. So I went ahead and blew out all this bed right here. Um, and the wind's pretty, I wouldn't say it's strong, but it's fairly strong enough to where I'm getting a lot of blowback from uh, all the grass or all the, you know, all the leaves and all that stuff, sorry. So a lot of stuff going on. So anyways, we got the walker going right now, so let's go ahead and get this all sucked up and we'll be uh, all good to go today. Oh, no. Right, guys so we are all done here sorry if you can't see me it keeps going back in and out of the shade and stuff like that uh but we are all done so we got basically what we wanted and set out to do today like i said i wanted to be able to get this whole entire section done uh but with us down now an, an employee we weren't able to do that but as you guys can see they all turn out pretty good um i was starting to use the uh, steel articulating head one but this thing just it was just cutting like crap probably needs to be sharpened but then again those blades are a lot newer than um the echo and the echo just cuts way better that's why i switched back over to it and then of course all the really tight you know hard to reach spots uh it just makes it more difficult with this guy um so i usually prefer to use the uh, echo head trimmer but anyways let me turn the camera around so you guys can see what everything looks like all right guys so here is the after of some of the section as you guys saw me trimming this um so this wasn't it wasn't too bad the laurel is a little bit harder to trim just because it has uh thicker branches and stuff like that so it takes a little bit longer for things to trim up but as you guys can see these all turned out really well uh, i've been trimming these guys for i think this property for at least three or four years so it's fairly simple just because you just follow last year's cut and you just basically cut off the new growth so but yeah everything looks good like i said grass is nice and green uh, because we fertilized last week, so I was really happy. I was wanting to get some footage of all that, but um, but yeah, guys, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, so I'll show you guys what we got. So we got almost a truckload. Of course, a little bit of this is from the grass from today as well. Um, I'm gonna turn this down. Boom, right there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, like I said, so we. <laughs> Dang it, man! You guys can't see anything. So anyways, we have the rest of this whole entire section to do um so basically the amount of time it took us to do all that down there we'll have to do this so anyways guys that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video it's been a long time since we got some footage up i want to try to get as much as i can but with me down now an employee uh let's see what we can do but anyways hope you guys enjoy this be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on ambrose handscaping